Good morning, everyone. Um, I was subjected to a, a level of indignation this morning that I'm not sure I'll ever recover from. So I wanted to do it. Um, it's very early in the morning in Australia, so obviously I wasn't engaging in serious scam baiting. Um, so to pad the runtime, I'm just going to read out a couple of other very indignant scammers who realised I wasn't going to fall for their pathetic attempts. So first of all, from one of my other accounts, me private Jason Momoa, now Instagram user, wanted to follow me. I said, oh, goody, another Jason to warn me about imposters. To which my scammer, completely impervious, obviously, said, it's real me. I will never gonna be no one else. I was just having a random check on my page. That's why I came across your profile. I'm doing this because I want to know how my fans feel about me and to get in touch with all my fans to make them happy. He'd be very busy, I'll tell you. I've reported the imposter to the management of the fraud department. They'll investigate the situation thoroughly. Don't need to worry. All will be settled soon. The fraud department will handle everything and ensure it's resolved smoothly. To which I said, oh, old format dude, just saying. Because I wasn't going to bait this guy. I'd had enough Jason Momoas. And in response to I've reported the imposter to the management of the fraud department. I said, which imposter is that? The one. The only one. I sent a laughing emoji. I said, are you Haruna? Or the one liking the post. Abu Bakr, is that you? Rookie mistake. Because I went through his followers. He didn't have an awful lot. But the idiot had used two West African um, accounts to like this profile. So that he, he read it. And I went, no, nothing in your format to cover that. Never mind. I'm sure you'll work it out. To which I got a very indignant, indignant, Lakin, you're not serious to know whose are you talking to? To which I went, Lakin, I am 100% sure now of who I'm talking to, mate. Can you tell me more about yourself? Came the response because my scammer didn't understand what I was saying. I said, so sarcasm and irony are just lost on you. Got it. Your English is really bad, Omar. You'll never pull this off. Just saying. At which point, he poddled off, and I like to add a little bit at the end. I said, toddle off back to your mother before Insta take this nonsense profile down. And he blocked me. I'm sure he's still active. But, oh, dearly, deary me. I can't even speak this morning. Now I want you to meet Virginia Roberts. Juan Aldrenda is the name. And she's active now. Hello there. I'm Jason Momoa's logistics manager. Well, I'm sure you are aware of the high rate of imposters imperson impersonating Jason Momoa. Well, I'm happy to tell you that he's aware of the situation because he got some complaints about it on his Instagram message. I've been instructed to pick a fan with whom he hopes to connect with asking questions about these imposters. I understand this may come as a surprise to you, but proof that he will that he instructed me to do this will be provided upon request. If you are interested, please let me know. Love heart. I said, what is a logistics manager, please? Now, I know very well what it is. I wanted to make sure this um, scammer did. I said, not a need proof. You'll only need send a bad fake chat, which is available on an app. I'd rather hear what you think a logistics manager does. And because she didn't get back to me, I said, and not a single, uh, and not a Google definition, please. I work in supply chain, so I'm fully aware of what it is. I want to hear what you think it involves. A logistics manager, according to this context, it's being used is simply organising and planning towards a particular aim, said my scammer, who had no idea what a logistics manager does. To which I sent a laughing emoji. I went, wow, because I was speechless. This is for a celebrity and not supply chain, came the indignant response. I went, uh, you're clueless, aren't you? You know what he said on the news last week, correct? Okay, enough of that. Thanks, said my now triggered logistics manager, to which I sent laughing emojis. And in response to your clueless, aren't you? No harsh words, please, said my triggered scammer. I said, run along, little logistics manager, which she, she saw last week and has not come back. And I don't think she will, though she is active right now. Now I want you to meet Mike. Uh, you know, I don't do straight up romance scams or very rarely I don't have a talent for them. So he hit me up. Hello! Way back in April. I said, hello, do I know you? My name is Michael and I 
I had just seen your profile pop up on my homepage, so I decided to message you. I reside here in Hawkesbury City in Australia, and you? And yes, Hawkesbury City does exist. I said, I don't know why my profile would pop up. I'm very particular about it. Thanks anyway, but I'm in a relationship. Trying to cut him out. So he comes back. Same here, I thought, but you never can tell the similarities. In response to, I don't know why my profile would pop up. And in response to thanks anyway, but I'm in a relationship. Oh, that's fine. But we can be friends if you do not mind. I said, I'm sorry, but I'm not friends online with strange men. It's disrespectful to my partner. Thanks anyway. But this scammer would not be deterred. It's fine. But you mind? I ask why you are called cat girl. Trying to fish for some sort of opening to get into my, my, you know, inner circle, I guess. I said, because my name is Cat and I like cats. Oh, lovely, came the response. Cats are very beautiful and most sensitive pets. So how many cats do you have? I said, look, I'm sorry, but I'm not engaging in a conversation with you. Thank you anyway. I'm so sorry if I am disturbing your peace in any way, but I mean no harm. Prayer hands. I said, I told you I'm not going to disrespect my partner. Have a nice day. He came back later. That's fine, and I understand and respect your terms, but that actually means you do not even have a single male friend then, said my absolute Muppet-triggered indignant scammer. I said, I have plenty, but none online. My partner has met them all. In the fact that you can't take a hint shows me the quality of person you are. He came back two days later. Good day to you. I know you met me online, but it's a gradual process and we could plan on meeting each other with time or perhaps making a video call if that is okay by you. Was just suggesting, 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 was just suggesting and your wish is my command, he says. I said, I'm sorry, what? Did you completely forget the previous chat and its contents? Please read back. I know, came the response, and it was because you sound like if I was harmful to you or your relationship, just want to get to know each other more and that's all, very indignantly. I said, are you not having any luck getting clients? Is that why you're back where you aren't wanted? Keep in mind, this was two days after I told him no thank you. I said, take a hint, please, and go away. I'm not interested in getting to know you. A real man does not insert himself where he isn't wanted. To which he said, I do not understand you, but it's fine. I'm sorry if I ever disturbed you. I was just busy with work all this while. I would not message you anymore if that is your wish. Thanks. To which I said, I never wanted you to message. You've got your chats mixed up, Muggle. At which point Muggle drove him away and he thankfully left. I don't think he's restricted me, but I don't care enough. Now, very short one. Meet Betty. Betty Beatrice which apparently is her full name, a social media agent to at the Hugh Jackman directed up to randomly pick a fan who likes and comments on his posts uh, to have a personal conversation with him directly, directives from Hugh Jackman himself, unsolicited, not even a hello, nonsensical opening. I said, yippee, another fake manager for Hugh, bravo, no imagination. To which they send this ridiculous Hello, Betty. Hello, uh, hello, good day, sir. Need anything? Yes, I need you to do me a favour on helping me reach out to some of my fans so that I can get in touch with them. Oh, I want to have their personal review on my last post and also to get to know some of them. You can give them my personal Gmail or Telegram link so they can contact me. Okay, sir, no problem. I can handle that. I'm sure they'll appreciate this opportunity. So, look, yeah, forget about it. <laughs> we know that that's all bullshit. Definitely not fake, came the response immediately. Very indignant. I said, sweetheart, you think you're the first one to use these fake prank chat apps? I've got enough to make a t-shirt, let alone post them all online as a warning. Didn't you see what Hugh and the others said last week on the news special about scammers? But thanks for the chat, I'll add it to my collection. At which point she toddled off. Don't worry, the good ones are coming. This one is short. So, for a bit of context, Joe Elliott made a video um, on Instagram, Joe Elliott, the lead singer of Def Leppard, uh, stating unequivocally that he would never make a second account. He was sick of all the scammers. He'd received reports of people actually being scammed for money, which I'm really sorry about. This was only last week. 
and that he's happily at home with his wife and kids and has no interest to chat with fans. So, this morning. Hello, fan. I've noticed you popped up on my page just now. I appreciate the support and the love. I don't take it for granted, so feel free to reach out. I sent you a request on here because have been getting texts from some of my fans about people claiming to be me. Have you been getting requests from people claiming to be me? To which I said, let me ask you a question. Did you see the post by Joe Elliott recently? It's a video. I suggest you go on his profile and click the video he made like last week. It's the second video. Watch it carefully. Yeah? To which he said, have you been getting requests from people claiming to be me on social media, fan? Because I guess calling me fan is a new thing. To which I responded, please watch the video. I know. I made a video, fan, and I'm asking you all this to get more information about these imposters. To which I responded, so let me get this straight. You made a video saying you'll never make another account, you'll never message fans. Then you make a second account to tell people you never make a second account. Then you message people to tell people you never message them. Have I got this right? To which my scammer pondered upon this for at least five minutes and came back with the following. I want you to get something straight as well, Fan, because I feel so disgusting and pissed about all this going on. I never made no second account, and this is actually handled by the ICT team. I literally saw your text popped up, so I thought of addressing you on here as well. I've got a limited time on here, okay, so you having doubt about me is all right, Fan, said my scammer. Please, punctuation and grammar, guys, it's increasingly difficult to read them out. To which I responded, you saw my text and you, quote, never made no second account. Qu yeah, close quote. Yet here you are rolling on the floor laughing. Surely you've come prepared for scepticism and have a way to assure your fans that you're real. To which my scammer said, I want you to understand that I'm not here to convince you, fan. I'm only here to guide and protect you from those craps trying to destroy my reputation and image. It's an actually not a bad word for it. The scammers are craps. I quite like that. To which I just simply sent a laughing emoji. Well, do have a lovely day, fan, said my scammer, realising he wasn't going to get anywhere. I said, this is so nonsensical, I'm howling with laughter. Reported little Moogle, which he saw one hour ago and toddled off and actually restricted me from his account. Now I want you to meet Chris Malonen. Yes, has not restricted me, will not allow comments, which means I cannot, you know, comment. The private page for Chris Malonen, Melanin, really, I've drunk the Kool-Aid, for real, Twitter at Chris Maloney, which doesn't go to his Twitter account, goes to Chris's real Instagram account. Here is the chat this morning. I said, I'm sorry, but who is this and why are you asking to follow me? Hello, it's me, Chris. I saw your engagement on my official page and I am having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a few of my fans. To which I said, oh, you're Chris Malonen, right? Or Melanin, choose your pronunciation. To which he said, yes, it seems you didn't take a look at my profile. I said, oh, I saw it. Uh, who were you in April? And in March, because the account had had two or three username, cha uh, username changes in just a couple of months. To which my scammer said, I don't understand. Please explain clearly. Did anyone contact you claiming to be me? To which I said, no. I can honestly say nobody has ever contacted me claiming to be melanin. This pesky Insta app tells you how many times names have been changed and when you change them. Who were you 23 hours ago? Because he had uploaded the photo 23 hours prior. All I did was ask the manager to get me an Instagram account. And I didn't expect the Instagram to come from Tiny Air. He surely must have gotten it from somewhere, said my scammer, who didn't realise you could actually make an Instagram account from Tiny Air, I'm supposing. To which I said, yes, I'm sure he did. How sad to get a used account. It doesn't add verisimilitude to the situation. So many followers with unknown names in just two months. 
To which my indignant scammer says, I don't think it is a problem. All I want is to reach out to my day one fans. To which I said, ah, I see. What's a day one fan? To which he said, people who take an interest in what you do. As if I was an idiot. I said, ah, KK, I just didn't get the day one association. Must be a Hollywood term I'm not familiar with. So, to what do I owe this rather dubious pleasure, Mr. Melanonin? To which my scammer came back with, what's your profession? Are you into hacking? I'm an old school and don't know much about the internet. How were you able to get details about the IG? He said, fishing for information. And no scammers watching, you can't turn off all that detail, I found. I said, I'm not into hacking. It's a normal feature on IG that is automatically available on every account. And in response to so to what do I owe this rather dubious pleasure, Mr. Melanonin, he, my indignant scammer said, nothing, dear. I know it is unusual, but sometimes life is short and you just have to tick everything on your bucket list. I said, IG also sent warning messages about suspicious accounts. We'd cross-posted. And in response to nothing, dear, I know it is unusual, but sometimes life is short and you just have to tick everything on your bucket list. I said, so this is on your bucket list? How strange. To which my indignant scammer said, I received a warning uh, message when you sent a request. Which he didn't, by the way, because my account is actually legit, the one he hit up. And in response to how strange... What's strange? And in response to I received a warning message when you sent a request, I said, there you go, no hacking involved. This one was very stupid. And in response to what's strange, I said that messaging fans from a second account is on your bucket list. To which my indignant scammer said, that's the main reason why my official account was tagged in my bio. Do you know the meaning of an official account? To which I responded, I'm not 80. It still doesn't explain how that is on your bucket list, considering you go out daily and speak with fans all the time, face to face, which he had seen. Then I said, the bucket seems very shallow and empty, sadly, which then triggered my indignant scammer. If you have difficulty understanding the terms day one fans or official account, I don't believe we have much to discuss. Have a good day. And I'm envisioning him waving his arms about in complete indignation at how stupid I was and how intelligent he was and how I just wasn't at his level. To which I said, wow, you're an easily triggered little mugu, aren't you? Laughing emoji, didn't take much to boil your brain. Make better choices with your life, Mr. Melanin, like some research, which he actually saw 16 minutes ago. Um, I don't know if he'll come back. And no, I'm not going to show anyone who doesn't know where to find the information on name changes purely because I know scammers watch this channel. So there you go. A little bit of nothing this morning. I do have, like I said, I have some uh, viewer chats coming up um, and a longer term scam that's been going on. Also some unresolved Google chats Scammers don't like Google Chat because they get they lose their accounts very, very quickly. So there are some chats on there that, that just never led anywhere. So I might do those. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, I'm off to work. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.